Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Today is um, September 17, 2014, and my name is Ratana Toy McDaniel. I'm interviewing Victor Mestas, who's from Venezuela. This interview is being recorded for the Border Public Library. The interview is being filmed by Maru Semprum. Hi, Victor. Hi. Where you born? I was born in Caracas, Venezuela. Caracas, Caracas can you uh, tell me where is it? Sure. Caracas is the capital city of Venezuela, oh. which is on top, as you can see, of South America. Yes. Yes, Venezuela, Caracas. Okay. Next to the Caribbean Sea. Okay. <laughs> so, um, how long have you been living in USA and Boulder? In, in Boulder, is that's the only place I, I ever lived. In okay. In USA, Boulder. We moved here in July 2012. 2000. So, two years. Okay, yes. July 2012. So it just turned two, two yeah, years, exactly. like a few months. Uh -huh. Okay. And uh, can you tell me a little bit more about uh, Caracas? Caracas, well, as I said, it's, a, it's a, um, the capital city of Venezuela. Mm -hmm. uh, we speak Spanish Okay. There. And, uh, and it's very, I, I, I got to say, it's very different from the United States. Okay. It's an absolutely different uh, Latin uh, culture. Okay. But it's, I, I would say also it's not very related uh, to the Latin culture we are used to on the States, okay. which is more Mexican and Central America. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a very, uh, you know, it, the, the culture thing is maybe more related to Colombia and yeah, maybe Venezuela and Colombia, and uh, I would say, because we are facing the Caribbean Sea, okay. it's more related to the islands. Okay. You know, more like salsa, Puerto Rico, Cuba. A lot of beaches and a, a lot a, Exactly, of, um, yes, exactly. Okay. It's, it's very different. Uh-huh. And um, so can you describe the landscape of where you live, uh, climate? Caracas? Actually, it's kind of uh, like a boulder. It, it's a valley, okay. so we are surrounded by by um, mountains. Mountains. Yes, and and actually our mountains are, are very high oh. for the city. Okay. Uh, we are, I don't know the translation to feet, but we are a thousand meter high. Wow. And the mountains there are almost three thousand meter high. Okay. The system of mountains in Caracas okay. and it's uh, all year round is like 30 degrees Celsius which I don't know what's <laughs> it's around 85 or something okay. 88 it's all year round we just have rain season and dry season okay that's a big <laughs> very warm you don't need a sweater or anything oh, no, like no. that no no yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice and um can you describe a uh, custom that represents uh, Venezuela? Customs? Uh-huh. Mm. Like what you eat or what wow, you Okay. Have? Well, the food, again, is very Caribbean. It's uh, a lot of dishes with um, rice, beans, mm -hmm. fried plantains. Okay. Uh, for, for instance, that's a good example. The plantains will be prepared in so many different ways from from salty like uh, like chips mm -hmm. to sweet with with uh, sugar or um, I don't know a, a very wide uh, we also cook a lot of stuff with corn okay uh, ground meat shredded meat is very popular in Venezuela too okay uh, and a whole bunch of different cheeses. Okay. You know, very 
we still are looking for something similar here, <laughs> some similar uh, cheese. Okay. We can find it. What about people? People is is a big, big, big mix because we uh, we you know what that's where one of the uh, first places to be col colonizados. I don't know the when the is Spanish conquerors. Oh, came, okay. They landed. Colonized. Yeah, yeah. Colonized. They 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 landed in, in what is Venezuela now. Mm -hmm. I think the third trip. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I hope I'm making a big mistake, <laughs> but it's something you know around. I, uh, and uh, uh, well, we, we were uh, conquered by the, sp the Spanish, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, it was a big mix, you, you know, with the slaves coming from Africa mm -hmm. and the American natives. We call it Indios. In, you know, and and then because the the world war, especially the second one, mm -hmm. we got a a, a whole a, a big number of uh, immigrants, f specifically from Italy, mm -hmm. um, Spain, and Portugal. Okay. You know. And it, we we call it mestizaje, which is just a a mix of very different. Races. Okay. So uh, at this point, Venezuela is a, is that a big mix of races. And the language still like um, Spanish, big. Yeah, big. yeah. We mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. The the official language is Spanish. Mm -hmm. Not too many people speak some other languages. Okay. Uh, uh, there are, you know, uh, well, we 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 have an. Uh, Boundaries, I, I don't know. Boundaries. Yeah, uh, I guess. Borders? Boundaries or borders, actually. Yeah. Colombia, they speak Spanish too, and Brazil, they speak Portuguese, but but because we have the jungle, it's, it's not popular. We okay. are, you know, like separated by the big jungle. Okay. So we, we speak Spanish. <laughs> and you learn how to speak English there before you come to the well, US? Actually, I learned. Because I am a musician, so I I learned reading music books, so okay. I can I can read and, uh, and write, but it's, I speak like this because I, <laughs> I never have a guy to to you know how to pronounce. So uh, your English is fine. <laughs> 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 okay, and can you tell me about job? You tell me a little bit like. Um, you are a musician. Uh -huh. um, can you tell me more about that, please? Well, I start to, to play the piano um, with private lessons when I was seven. Mm -hmm. And I've been a pianist all my life. I've been involved with so many different projects, recordings and traveling and playing f as a sideman for, mm -hmm. for people. But, uh, but my, my main Musical activity is is to play the piano. Okay. I, I you know I record a lot and I produce a few CDs. Uh, I I I was musical director for some bands, but I, what I like the most is the, to to be on the side and play the piano. Okay. <laughs> I, I write some music, not not too much. Uh, but uh, well, I'm grateful because I survive all my life. Playing the piano. I, I never <laughs> did anything else besides that. Okay, <laughs> that's good. I would like to learn how to play piano too. <laughs> I don't know. It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's never late. <laughs> and um, when and why you decide to come to the USA? Well, all all my life, you know, uh, as a teenager, I I I wish I could come to. To go to music school here, mm -hmm. but it, it never happened. Then I, because music is a very particular job. You mm -hmm. you met if you are playing a lot, you met a lot of people. Right. And and uh, in in that sense, is it's a very rewarding uh, profession because at this point I, I I can say I have friends all over the world 
for sure. I, mean, All right. I can go anywhere, almost anywhere, and I have some friends there, musicians too, because we travel and we meet each other and we keep contact. And this is a good example because because of music, I, I ended uh, living in Spain in mm -hmm. 1992 wow. to 1993. And I met this American guitar player who is from uh, some, some play, I think it's Chicago, around Chicago, and okay. he lives here. Mm -hmm. So 22 years ago, he, we, 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 made, um, we become friends. Yes. We became friends, and he told me, you should come to Boulder, and, and you will like it. And all these years, he was mm -hmm. saying that. And, uh, and finally, 10 years ago, w w my wife and me, we, we came, we liked it, uh, as a, as just to visit. Okay. But then, you know, the situation in, in Venezuela, it's very uh, crazy now for, for well, for 50 almost 16 years now <laughs> so we this is a good place to to raise a family we I we have two daughters uh -huh. and we really like Boulder so we two years ago we, we made a decision to move here okay that's how we 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 got here but before moving we were here twice okay just as you know visitors okay tourists so you know anyone before uh, you moved I know this this person, Bill Copper, and yes, that's yeah. Uh, he's a musician too. Okay. I, I think I said, and uh, <coughs> and through him, well, I met some other musicians, some others musicians. Okay. <laughs> so I'm sorry. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. What were your first impressions about Boulder? Well, coming from such a different culture, when we say Caracas is crazy, we mean that. You know, it's crazy. It's, you know, people here, they, it's very funny because they, they talk about the traffic jams on 28th Street. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and the traffic jams there are three hours, four hours, you, on, a, on a daily basis. Mm -hmm weekdays or weekends you, you spend on the traffic three to four hours that's that's a lot you know for right. just sitting driving In a car. and and as i said i i found boulder a, a very nice place to to raise a family i, I we really liked the school district mm -hmm. and we just fall in love with the, with the idea of moving here mm -hmm. Uh, we find the place really peaceful, quiet, uh, uh, it's just nice, you know, <laughs> it's yes. very, very nice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and what is your favorite thing to do in Boulder? In Boulder, well, uh, I like to walk, no, no in the sense of sport, but just walk, just be able to walk non-stop, okay. uh, listening to music. I, I, I can, wow, we will say in Spanish to take off, just for, forget everything and just, you know, walk. Okay. <laughs> I like that. It can be on the streets, it can be in some park, but, but just walk. Uh, again, it's not about hiking or anything, just, you know, be able to Go. Yeah, just boom, no, no, <laughs> no destination. <laughs> That's the word. Okay. <laughs> and how do you feel about Boulder now compared to two years ago? Okay, I, well, I still love it may, maybe more than two years ago. Mm -hmm. I, I, I like the fact it, it's a university town mm -hmm. because opens to, again, to you know, different cultures and, and meeting people from, from every, they come to you, they speak in Spanish and they, uh, English, and then you find they are, they are from Africa or from Australia or, some, or you know, or from Spain. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I like that. And I, I, here I've been in, involved in music with different 
bands and different styles. Okay. So through that, I, I met different crowd. Is, uh, for, for instance, this uh, Brazilian band I play with, Jinga. The listeners will be very different from the salsa mm -hmm. uh, circle or the jazz circle, you mm -hmm. know. So that's that's very nice. Very, I, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and can you tell me about your friends you met here? My friends are uh, well, the musicians. Okay. They are um, mostly Americans. They are, but then for for the salsa mm -hmm. bands, they are people from Puerto Rico, Cuba, Peru, Colombia. Wow. All over the place. Yeah, okay. Mexico. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, Brazilians too. Mm -hmm. Argentina. Wow, that's a lot of. Okay. Yeah. And who do you work with right now? I play with a. Uh, it's a Boulder-based band, okay. Brazilian uh, music, Jinga. There is another quintet, Dexter Payne quintet, the clarinet player. Okay. And then a bunch of salsa bands, Conjunto Colores, um, Sabor de la Calle, Candela, and that's it. Okay. Yeah. And then a few uh, singers, local singers, like Meryl Romer, Janine Gastineau, and Wellington uh, Bullings, uh, Louis Pearson, mm -hmm. Sandra Wong, that's an in instrumental duet mm -hmm. with violin. It's a whole, it's very different. That That's something I like, you know? Yeah. It's not just classical or jazz or salsa, but trying to cover a, a wide spectrum of music because I like it and, and I have some training doing that mm -hmm. because life took me to some yeah. so many different places. And Do you teach a little bit? I, I, I teach very, very little. Okay. Yeah, I, I like it, but uh, I, I respect that a, a lot because I, I find music is very enjoyable and people, you know, in the first place, people like music, they like music, and then they like, they would like to play an instrument, but the, the training can be very, not hard, but it can be very boring. So it's tricky to find a way to keep it um, a appealing, like, like a, a attractive okay. to people, you know? Okay. Some people, oh, I, I want to play piano too. Okay, let's see, you know, we see then. Uh, and it's, you know, it, it can be boring, I say, you know, <laughs> it can be boring, not hard, because that's different, it's not hard, yeah. it, it's more of a keep it alive, you know. Yeah, that's what yeah I heard somebody said um, they have to do the same song like 100 times, <laughs> yeah. before they can do it perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, but, but it still can, can be, you know. Yeah, okay. Nice. And um, you said you moved with family, and um, so how old are your children? When we got here, they were 12 and, and okay. 10, and they are well, almost 10 and 12, and now they are 14 and, and 12. Okay. Yeah. And do you speak um, Spanish at home? And well, there's a big deal here in, in this house because <laughs> <laughs> now, now, now they speak English, uh -huh. very good English, you know, after two years here, uh -huh. they, it's very easy for kids and, and they keep speaking English in the house. I mean here, and, and I don't like that because when we decide to move here, mm -hmm. we, we all, we actually we wait because we wanted want them to speak good Spanish. I mean, mm -hmm. be very, very proficient. And they are, they speak very good. Mm -hmm. They write properly grammar and all that. And, and they can read, you know, books and, uh, uh, in Spanish. But if you don't keep speaking Spanish, you will lose, you will lose the vocabulary. Right. So sometimes they, they hey, daddy, how, how do you say Blinds. In, in, I, I don't like that because they know how. To, how <laughs> what's the word, you know? So we try to to keep them speaking at least 
and, and the house okay. Spanish. You know? mm -hmm. <laughs> what about food? Uh, do you think um, food here compared to uh, Venezuela um, very different, or it's easy enough to find? Um, uh, it's very different. Yeah. Uh, what they what they call here uh, Latin food mm -hmm. is is more of a Mexican food. Okay. It's it's not Latin. Latin for us, it will you know embrace the whole Caribbean Sea. Mm -hmm. You know, from Mexico to to Cuba, yeah. Puerto Rico, Colombia, every country facing the the Caribbean Sea, mm -hmm. and even you know. Uh, can say like music, even F Florida State, because mm -hmm. they, they, there are so many right. Latin people living there. Mm -hmm. But uh, still, we 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 can find some Venezuelan ingredients. Okay. I guess thanks to the students. That's my thinking. Yeah. And, and we um, and my wife prepares some okay. some Venezuelan uh, food. Okay. You know, frequently, so. <laughs> so you feel. Like home, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's it's. Uh, I mean, I I don't miss it that much because we still can prepare can some the food. stuff here. Okay. And um, so, have you gone away from border at all, or just stay? I I've been uh, working. I've been in Colorado. Okay. Yes, I uh, I've been. You know, all this. Ski towns, like okay. Aspen, Vail, Breckenridge. Uh, I, the farthest place was Grand Junction. Grand Junction. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Grand Junction, the pal Palisades. <laughs> Three, four, four hours away, I think? Yes, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. exactly. A little okay. bit more, maybe. With and uh, up north, I've been in Cheyenne. That's the. Okay. <laughs> So, do you miss um, Venezuela? Well, I always uh, like this landscape, you know, the snow mm -hmm. and the pine trees mm -hmm. and the glaciers and all that. So, in that sense, I'm very happy. From Venezuela, I, I miss more musicians and, and, and my close friends. Okay. Yeah, it's more about... It, uh, I, I miss more humans than, yeah. than places, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Friendship. Yeah, exactly, yeah. because because it's, it's, um, it, it's, it's a, I don't want to get into that, but it, it's, it's a, a hard place now yeah. to make a living, mm -hmm. and, and, um, I, well, as, you know, the main reason moving it was the kids yeah yeah so uh, in that sense I, I, I don't I don't miss anything because it's they are doing really well here yes really really well as students so it, it was worth it right to do it yeah okay. and how do you know about library and what does it mean to you the library. Wow, mm -hmm. the, the library means a lot <laughs> because three years ago when we came to visit for the second time, that mm -hmm. was the first time with the kids, mm -hmm. and, and we, <laughs> we had very little money, so we stayed in this little motel up in, in Arapaho uh, for two months, and basically our activity was walking from there uh -huh. to the library. Yeah, because the library was great at, at that time. They were really into reading my, my kids uh -huh. and and learning English. So they they will grab Spanish books and and some easy English books. Okay. Also, of course, the video games and and the the DVDs, the movies. Mm -hmm. So we we were a good, you know chunk of time <laughs> we were there uh, uh, the activities they have you know the concerts I loved I love the I play once there I love the um, the Canyon theater mm -hmm. I, I really like the space yeah the, the you know the meditation 
uh, yeah. uh, concert and this uh, how do you call it the, the lunch mm. the lunch yeah. concerts yeah uh, I like it it's a great space I'm, I'm willing to see the the transformation the building they are doing the yeah yeah <laughs> that's nice yeah and um, do you feel that border is home to you now and why I feel it, it is more and more Okay. that because we again as a musician I met a lot of people and, and, and quite a bunch of people they are getting closer and closer to us and, and you can feel it, it goes beyond the music okay. fact you know some people right. go for, for you know a glass of wine and talk to you and have, mm -hmm. and have fun that, that's perfectly mm -hmm. okay but but some people get more more closer to you you, mm -hmm. you, have, you have dinner with them and you can invite them to, to your house and recently we had this this benefit concert okay. and and I that's the when we really I mean we, we we felt that before but we we proved that to us that, that people are really involved with the with with that uh, purpose f f of us to actually settle down, you know, wh okay. whatever it means, like uh, for real. We, ha okay. we have two years here, and the kids are doing well, and, and uh, my wife Connection. is, is well, yeah. But but yeah. really, you you know, like like solid. Is exactly that's the word solid. Yeah. Like like, yeah. and that's and, and it's coming. It's coming. It's again. It's a some people here, I think, they, they don't realize how lucky they are to be yeah. here, you know, in mm -hmm. such an open uh, uh, community and uh, a beautiful place. It's, mm -hmm. it's, if you're coming from something different, that's when you, when you realize how, how yeah. great it is. Yeah? Right. You can compare. Yeah. You don't have to compare, but you just, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is there anything else you like to talk about today? Well, anything at all? I, I, th I think I, I talk a lot. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't know what else I, ca I, I can say. Well, again, we are grateful to be here. Okay. Um, 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 I thank the, the library to, for, for, for this interview. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's a nice a project and uh, well thank you <laughs> again thank you Victor thank you Toy thank you <laughs> and Victor is a musician okay. yes <laughs> <laughs> more question that I forgot is uh, where is the most beautiful place in Venezuela ah. can you describe well, uh, f for me, actually, the, the most beautiful is uh, something very uh, close to to the Caracas. Rocky Mountains because it's our section of Los Andes. Andes is the okay. mountains going all the way from Chile and from Chile and uh, Argentina. They go all the way. Bolivia, Peru, this is mountains. Oh, okay, mountains. And, and we get the very last high peaks okay. in Venezuela. That's Merida, is the state. Okay. And the, and the mountains, you know, we have a little, nothing like this, but, but we have some glacier and um, a little snow and blue, pristine lakes. That's my favorite place in Venezuela. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Victor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>